Hey everybody on here, and guess what? I'm sick. I'm really sick. I don't know guys, is it supposed to be that color? <laughs> I just keep refilling this jug from my big jug, and I noticed today that it is just a little bit, see, yellow. Doesn't matter what background I have it against. It's a little yellowish. I've been drinking it, and you know what? I've had diarrhea all day long, and I moved the porta potty over there. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I am sick. Authentically. Authentically sick. Um, I've gotten rid of that jug of water. I can't keep anything down. Um, luckily, Betty. Betty hasn't been drinking that water, so everything's flushed. I've got fresh water. The only water that I'm drinking is out of this brand new jug that I got. Um, I don't have any medicine to stop the uh, hyperactivity in the lower intestinal system. Um, I, uh, I've been drinking water, just nothing but water. And um, luckily, I've got the porta potty. I'm not using it, you know. The stuff is not going down in the bottom of it. I know this sounds gross, but I've got, um, you know, paper towels and napkins, and I put I put a uh, trash bag down in the bottom of the um, porta potty, and then I put the paper towels down in it, and uh, so it'll make a total mess in the in the bottom of the bag. And, so I've just been, you know, using that with each, you know, time. So hopefully, hopefully this will stop because I feel really, really weak. Luckily I'm in a place where there's people. I can get help if I need to, but um, I'm pretty sick. Luckily it's cooling off. Um, I'm in my van, I'm very comfortable. Got my fans going. But, uh, yeah, so you got to prepare for things like this. If I had just had some Lomoto, I'd be, I'd be golden. Um, because, really, the, the only thing, the big thing that's making me feel so sick is just the weakness from the fluid loss. And um, so what happens when you get some weird bacteria in your bowels is um, the inner lining of your of your bowels get inflamed and you know I mean it just hyperactivity and it just everything just goes from your mouth to out the other end um, so I'm gonna be fine um, it's not getting worse I'm not I'm not running a fever or anything like that um, it's just what happens when you drink bad water so this should all this should oh my god I look so terrible I feel terrible always check your water supply and you gotta, you know, you gotta dump those. I didn't. Th I don't think it came from the big tank, um, because it's it started before I started. Well, what I did is when I came to camp, I dumped out all the the old waters, just a little bit left, and I got to a spigot and put new fresh water in the big tank. Um, all the water that I've been drinking has come from that one jug. And um, even if I have emptied it out, um, unless you sanitize it, the bacteria is still in there. So you put fresh water in it, and um, that bacteria is going to just ruin all that fresh water. So you got to visually inspect your water um, every day, basically every day. And you got to store it properly. Make sure no sun gets on it. And um, don't keep those drugs for too long, seriously. You can go, go to, uh, you know store and get a, a new fresh spring water jug for like 89 cents or something like that so this should be a lesson for you all you don't want to look like I look right now you don't want to feel like I feel right now um, luckily Betty is Betty is the best dog ever she's just, <laughs> she just snuggles up next to me she knows when I'm not feeling good so this is the first time I've been sick in the van <laughs> feels weird feels really really weird but I knew it was coming on before I even got to camp here um, I knew it was coming and it just got progressively worse had I not eaten anything and just stuck to clear liquids I would have been great but I bought some chicken cranberry pecan salad 
and uh, been ha I had a couple sandwiches and um, it was delicious. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Total wrong thing to eat. Totally wrong thing to eat. And um, you know, I had so started soaking some beans last night. And I was going to make some dirty rice and beans or some some um, chili mac or something like that tonight. <laughs> Ain't going to happen. Because if I try and eat on this, it's just going to be worse. It's just going to get worse. So when you get like this and you're having loose stools, runny stools, um, you don't want to you don't want to eat solid food. Stick to water. Um, stay away from caffeine. Another mistake I made this morning. Made some iced coffee. It was delicious. Had some milk in it. Wrong choice. Wrong freaking choice. God, I look like I weigh two hundred million pounds. God, I feel bloated. Um, so I know this is not a pleasant video, but this is this is what happens. You know, you get sick in sticks and bricks life. You get sick in van life, and you just gotta learn how to deal with it. It's the first time I've been sick in the van. And um, honestly, it's going okay. You know what? I'm I'm dealing with it. I don't have any medicine. Um, I'm just doing what I know I need to do, and I'm gonna be fine. I should be I should be fine by tomorrow morning. Anyhow, that's it. Wish me luck. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.